Hello everyone, and welcome to our Geofence and Push Notification demo for MobileLink. I'm Wes Filliman, owner and CEO of Mobile Integrated Solutions, developers of the MobileLink apps and MobileLink Connect cloud service. We're really excited to introduce these two new features to MobileLink. With Geofence awareness and push notifications, MobileLink raises the integration of home automation to the next level by connecting you to your home in unprecedented ways. Let's jump right in with a demo where I'm starting off at home and leaving for work for the day. As I leave my home, MobileLink tells the ISY to arm the security system, turn off the lights that were left on, and set the thermostat to 80 degrees. After all the actions have executed, our MobileLink Connect cloud service sends me a push notification letting me know that the house is armed. When I leave work for the day, MobileLink tells the ISY to turn the thermostat back down to 76 degrees and sends me a push notification for confirmation. As I get near my house, MobileLink tells the ISY to open the garage door, disarm the security system, and turn the lights on in the house. MobileLink Connect sends me a final push notification letting me know that the house is now disarmed. Let's walk through the basics on how to set this up. With the Geofence feature, MobileLink becomes location aware and can take action when crossing the boundary lines of a geofence. The action in this case is setting a variable in the ISY controller to a 1, representing that the device is inside of the region, or a 0, representing that the device is outside of the region. You can then use this variable in your ISY programs however you see fit. Let's set up a geofence for MobileLink to monitor. Go to My Settings, Location Settings, and enter a name for the region. As a side note, if the Location Settings option isn't listed, then that either means your controller is set to something other than MobileLink Connect or the ISY, or your mobile device doesn't support geofencing. Please see our website, mobilelink.com, for a list of compatible mobile devices. Next, you have the option to change the size of the geofence radius. We'll leave this as is as 100 meters. Tap the Save button. By saving the region, MobileLink creates a new variable in the ISY controller it will use to set to a 1 or a 0, depending on region location. And again, 1 for inside the region and 0 for outside of the region. Before we leave MobileLink, let's set up a push notification so we're notified when we leave and arrive home. This isn't required for geofencing, rather I just want to show you how you can set up push notifications for MobileLink. Go to My Programs, State Variables, and find the variable MobileLink just created. Tap on it and select Configure Notification. Tap the plus button to add in a notification. Turn Notify on and tap the value row to set the value to a zero. Enter a custom message like, Wes is away, and tap back to save. Tap the plus button again to add in a second variable and set the value to a one. Enter a custom message. We'll keep with the theme and set this to Wes's home. Tap back to save. Let's test this by setting that variable to a zero. And then to a one. Just a quick comment on push notifications. Push notifications require an active MobileLink Connect account with us. The MobileLink Connect servers listen for changes to deliver your custom messages to your devices. You can set up push notifications for devices, programs, variables, and security states. The great thing about push notifications is your device doesn't have to have an active cell plan like text messaging requires. Push will work on Wi-Fi only devices as well. Let's jump over to the ISY's admin console interface to tie that variable into our ISY programs to make it do something interesting. The program we'll write will listen for MobileLink to leave the home region. For the if statement, we'll set this to the variable that MobileLink created and listen for its state to change to a zero, meaning MobileLink has left the region. In the then statement block, let's have the ISY turn off my kitchen lights, set the thermostat to 80 degrees, and arm the security system. Click Save and that's it. When you leave the home region, you'll get a push notification 
and the ISY will turn the lights off, set the thermostat to 80 degrees, and arm the security system. You can then repeat the process to continue to integrate your geofence variables into your ISY programs however you see fit. Some examples might be creating regions for all household member devices, and then writing ISY programs to listen for all members of the household to leave the home before setting the alarm. For our users with a second home, you could set up a multi-kilometer region around your second home to turn on the thermostat when getting near. Or, set up push notifications to be instantly notified when your Insteon water leak sensors are tripped or your garage door has been open for more than five minutes. You could even set up push notifications to alert you when your kids arrive home from school. There's so many possibilities, we can't wait to see what you come up with. I'm going to leave you with one final live demo from the IP camera view of MobileLink HD. But before I go, you can find all this equipment on our online store, MobileLinkStore.com. There you can find a starter kit to get you started, or if you already have the ISY controller, extra equipment to complement your setup like a garage door controller or an IP camera. Thanks for watching. Thank you.